Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the Samsung Galaxy A16. So that means a little setup that you have the best options here for your phone. And the first thing I want to show you is for your eyes because we are all using our smartphone too often and so on. It, yeah, this is giving our eyes a lot of stress. But there's a way to reduce that stress. Let me show you how. For that, just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and then you have much more icons here. Huh? And here, one of it is here the Eye Comfort Shield. If I turn this on, you can see that the screen is having a yellow touch right now. This is nothing else than a blue light filter, and this is protecting your eyes. Let me show you a bit more about, so if you're long pressing now Eye Comfort Shield, you have some more settings. Huh? Actually, it's on adaptive, but if you change it to custom, you can change the color temperature. So you can make it more warm. And even if the screen is more yellow now, it is much better for your eyes. So if you really want to do something nice for your eyes, then um, increase the color temperature. If you say, okay, I uh, um, don't like this so much, then I recommend to you to turn on the adaptive mode here because this is detecting the daytime or the nighttime. And uh, yeah, because the blue light filter is also at um, doing something good for your eyes and as well for your mind because you will sleep much better if you have the blue light filter enabled here. So turn the adaptive mode on. If you don't like the yellow touch, then you have it at latest in the evening hours and this will um, gives you a much better sleep. In a pool, daytime and nighttime and so on, if you use your phone in the night, um, then the bright screen is also not that comfortable uh, for your eyes uh, because if everything is dark around you and you have the bright screen, ooh, you know what I mean. Uh? Um, but there's a way to enable here a dark mode. For that, just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and then you will have here the dark mode. If you turn this feature on, you will see that the things was, was bright before is now dark and the letters are now white most of the time. And by the way, the dark mode is saving energy as well, because uh, here at the dark areas of the screen, the AMOLED display is turning off the pixels, and this is saving energy. But the dark mode is having a disadvantage for the eyes, because on the daytime, um, the contrast is not that well for the eyes, and this is giving your eyes as well a bit stress. So I recommend to you to only have the dark mode in the evening and the night. Let me show you how you can schedule it, that you don't have to turn it on and off by your own. For that, just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, long press down here the dark mode, and turn on as scheduled here, and then um, at the sunset, the dark mode will turn on, and if the sun rises, the dark mode will automatically turn off. The next feature I want to show you is to make the phone a bit faster, because always if you open an app, um, you will have a little animation. It zooms out and it zooms in. Can you see that? And at any app. Huh? And this is taking time. And you can make your phone faster with removing them. Let me show you a bit more about. Just scroll down here. Tap you on a symbol for the settings. Then you need to go down to the point accessibility. Here it is. And here you will need the point vision, en en <laughs> vision enhancements. And here we'll need the point a bit below reduced animations. Let us turn it on and now see, pretty fast. That's immediately there, immediately gone. Anyhow, uh, which app you need to open. Let me remove now reduce animations to show you a bit better the differences. Can you see it? How slow it is basically. We never really felt it. But if we remove this feature, also these animations, if we turn on reduce animation, then it's immediately there, immediately gone. So pretty fast. And this is also good for the future performance of the phone. The next thing I want to show you is about the battery lifespan. So because if you charge your phone, you should be always in between 20% and 85%. So yeah, if you're going under 20%, you just charge your phone, that's no problem. But if you over 80%, uh, you need always to remove it. And yeah, you, sometimes if you charge your phone overnight, it's not possible. Huh? Let me show you a bit more about, so just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go down to the point battery. And here we will have the point battery protection. Huh? Let's turn it on and this is saving our battery. Um, tap here now on battery protection itself 
and you have uh, the choice what you should uh, choose here, no? because you have different levels here. And I recommend to you to take the maximum one, no? because this is stopping the charging exactly at 80%. Of course, if someone haven't enabled this feature, he has a longer battery one time at the beginning, well, for the first months, but later, and we're using the phone for years, um, the battery is much stronger and have a better stamina um, if you have enabled here the maximum battery protection. The next feature I want to show you is to save energy. Because even if you have turned off Wi-Fi here or Bluetooth, um, the phone is always checking Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in the background. Let me show you a bit more about it. So just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings, go then on connections, tap on more connection settings, and this point here, nearby device scanning, you should disable it because the phone is checking always, as I've said in the background, other Bluetooth and Wi-Fi networks, and this is taking energy. This makes only sense here, nearby device scanning, if you wearing a smartwatch, no? and the smartwatch needs the connection to the phone in some cases for the fitness activities or something like this. Huh? So, but usually if you don't wear a smart uh, a smartwatch, then you should remove this point here and save energy. The next feature is for our eyes again. Pretty simple, but very effective. We're having a large screen and why not increasing the text size? Let me show you a bit more about, so just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go to the point display and a bit below you will find a point for size and style. And you can increase the text size as I did. Now I um, uh, add two points here. Uh, and I really recommend this feature to you. It really um, supports your eyes. But don't increase it too much. Because if you have increased it too much, you have a disadvantage. Because you can't read very well the previews here. Uh, at the notifications. So just uh, enable um, this point here. Uh, to the first point from the right. Huh? Then you have a good uh, text size. And let me show you something more. Let's go here on the arrow so that we're back here in the display settings and tap now on screen zoom. And here you can increase um, the items. Huh? I've increased it already with one step. We can go also a bit further and enlarge these icons here as well. And this is pretty, pretty nice. And as well here with um, these icons here uh, for the shortcuts, um, a nice feature and your eyes will say thank you for that. The next feature I want to show you is for your me time, so for your mind, uh, because we all need uh, sometimes some peace for ourselves. And uh, yeah, maybe if you're watching a YouTube video, you, uh, you don't want to feel disturbed by incoming notifications or incoming calls and so on. And there's a way um, to mute them, not only by uh, the audio, as well here by the visibility. Let me show you what I mean. So for that, just scroll down here. Scroll down a second time, and then you will have here this thing, do not disturb. If you enable this feature, uh, you can do the things on your phone without feeling disturbed with incoming messages and so on. Let me show you a bit more about. So just long press it. We have some more options, as you know already. Go on details. And here you can set up some schedule times, like sleeping times, huh? and so on. Now, if you're at work and so on, I will show you later a bit more about. Um, but also pretty important, here you can give exceptions. Huh? Maybe if you uh, want that you are uh, available always for your parents or for your children, you can give it, you can give here some exceptions for them, and as well, if someone uh, repeats uh, calling you, no? then this co these calls are going through. Uh, if someone is calling you twice, at least within 50 minutes, uh, you will receive the call as well. So a nice mode if there's an emergency or something like this. Huh? So And as well, you can do it uh, with app notifications, alarms, and so on, if you need something there. So a pretty, pretty nice mode. But it can go a bit further because uh, there are different times on a day. Maybe if you are sleeping or if you are at work, huh? sometimes the same, <laughs> or uh, if you are in gym and so on. Let me show you a bit more about. So just scroll in here. Tap the new on the symbol for the settings. 
Then you need to scroll down to the point modes and routines. So, and here you're having several modes. The sleeping time we have learned already a bit about, but uh, yeah, let's choose maybe the working time here and uh, tap on start. And you can choose when it should automatically start it. No? If you are at a certain place or at the time period. No? Choose the time period if you are sometimes working there and there and there. Uh, but if you're working always at the same place, you can choose place. No? Okay, I choose the time thing and so on. I can choose now also the days. No? If I just weekdays and so on. Or if I'm working as well on the weekend. And um, if it's every month and so on. So I can really chat you with it. No? And after, if I'm having my times here, then I'm going on next. Then I recommend to you to enable the do not disturb mode because you don't want to feel disturbed at work. And you can give some more exceptions for the work. Uh, may your chef could reach you as well now or your, um, yeah, your co-workers and so on. So this is a nice uh, feature um, to give them more exceptions so that they can reach you. Uh, so you can give you the exceptions. Uh, good enough, not done. On next. Also pretty nice now. You can choose the sound modes and the, the volume. Now, if you work in a bibliotheque, then of course the phone should be muted. Uh, but if you work in a loud area, um, then uh, the phone should have a, a very loud ringtone. No? And as well, if you don't really need your phone, you can use the power saving mode or if you need always an app, if you start work, then you can open it automa automatically no? with that mode. So you can just go on then then. And yeah, that's it. No? Here we will have the summary. Uh, but how to enter it later? Also, let me turn it off first. How to enter it later? Well, let's just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and then you will have here the point modes. And you could choose which mode you want to have. Uh, and as well, you can choose uh, also something for the gym and so on. So to really recognize if you are at a gym, and then you can open your fitness app and so on automatically. And yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Okay, let me show you a bit more about routines as well, because you can use it also in different ways. Uh, May if you're watching a movie uh, on Netflix or on YouTube, uh, uh, then um, you always watch it uh, landscape mode. Uh, and, and if you lay down, maybe at a switch, sometimes supported mode automatically, it's not that good. And for that, you can set up routines or other routines and so on with saving energy and so on and so on. And let me show you a bit more about, so just scroll down here, tap down here on the symbol for the settings. Then let's go again to the point modes and routines. The modes we have learned already about, you know. And now tap your routines. So, you can have some examples now on the compass, but let's go on the plus symbol here to add now some routines. Um, Maybe with our example here on YouTube, on Netflix, and so on. So if, no, add what will trigger this routine. Let's choose an app, no, app open it. So first of all, we have to tap OK. So app open it. Now choose the apps. In our case, it was Netflix and YouTube, or another app as you want. Go then on Done. Okay, so if these apps are open, it now we can uh, choose then add what this routine will do. And we want to have the screen orientation here in landscape mode. Go on done. Go on save. I can give it a name. Huh? Go on done. Okay, now we're having this routine. It's just an example. Huh? Okay, now let's check. If I open YouTube, it's automatically opened in landscape mode. And if I go out of this app, it turns back into portrait mode. Now, anyhow, how the position of my phone is, it turns automatically in landscape mode and going back then. So this is a way to use the routines. Uh, and um, let me go back here to the routines. Oh, let me go here, scroll down here, tap on the symbol for the settings, go to modes and routines, uh, and here are the routines. Okay. I recommend it to you also here to tap on the compass because you can have some ideas what to do and so on. As I've said, you can save energy, um, you can make it more comfortable in some ways and so on. So a pretty, pretty nice 
mode. Yeah, we're almost at the end of the video and I want to show you something again here to save energy. Because there is a power saving mode already included, may have uh, seen it already, scrolling down here, scrolling down a second time, and here's the power saving mode. Now then the display brightness uh, is decreased by 10%, the CPU uh, speed is a bit reduced, and as well, uh, some background activities are stopped. But you can squeeze out much more from this power saving mode. Let me long pass it, no? as we have learned, you can do some more stuff then. And you will see with the power saving mode we are having with 43% around one day and 23 hours remaining, what is a lot. Okay, let me turn it off for the moment. And you can see what is turned on if I turn on this power saving mode. But if you really want to squeeze out the maximum of the power saving mode, then turn this on your limited apps and home screen. Let's check the time now on top here. Now we would have with 43% around four days and two hours. So it depends because it's estimated, you know, um, depends how you use your phone. But four days and two hours with just 43%, it's amazing. And uh, let's see now how the power saving mode is if you have enabled the limit apps and home screen. Let me turn it on. And as you can see, we have here now limited apps, as the name has says already, said already. And we have, we have a dark mode screen here, as we have learned already. You know, we save energy because pixels are turned off here at the AMOLED screen. And uh, even if uh, you want to have more apps, just tap on the plus symbol. And you can add now things like WhatsApp, YouTube, you know? and as well you can play games and so on. You know? The CPU speed is reduced, so you should not... Um, uh, play games which one requires a lot of performance like racing games or something like this uh, but you can really um, use this um, desktop as well to do your daily stuff and as I've said now with 43% you have four days remaining what is amazing huh? yeah, this mode can really save your life one day so you should know about it and if you're ready to uh, charge your phone again and so on, uh, then just tap you on the three points, go on turn off power saving, and you are back to the regular mode. So nothing is deleted or something like this. Uh, this is just another interface here. So um, very nice. Everything is still there. All the pictures, contacts, and so on. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and give you a nice setup here for your phone. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a something up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And I've created also some other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. Or you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for all your support. And yeah, maybe till next time. <laughs> Ciao.